secure, we can, we can, we can arrest the perpetrator and, and clear your case within an hour. Uh, the more information that we have when something happens, the better off we are. One of the things he was talking about on the camera system, it doesn't do any good to say, well, I've got a video system, and then when we look at the video system, we can't even tell whether it's a female or a male that's walking through your parking lot. So, and, and then where you, where you set that video, what we would like if you're going to do that or that you already have one, and there has been some businesses in town that have already done this, and we've gone out and we, if you'll call us, we'll come out and spend 30, 45 minutes with you and we'll look at your setup and we'll try to tell you uh, where possibly you can do some things in your business to make it to where really it benefits us when something does happen. And, and for the most part, it's not a matter of if it's going to happen, it's a matter of when it's going to happen. And, and so the more information that we have when something like that happens, the better off we are in being able to find the person that did it. Uh, we had some instances here, and I'm sure the majority of you know, where they, they got into the Ford house. Uh, they broke into the Ford house and really didn't take anything. They just spent a lot of time in there. And then they left there and they went to one of the accounting firms here and they broke in. They did steal some stuff there, and then they went into the Methodist Church, and they tore the Methodist Church up pretty good. Well, luckily we had video of them in the Ford House. Well, it just so happened that when we had the video, he knew exactly, which was a hint to us, he knew exactly where all the cameras were, so every time he'd get close to a camera, that head would go down and you couldn't see him. Well, I, and for those of you that do not know, we have a uh, we have a Facebook page, uh, the police department here in Dalbar. We we operate a Facebook page, and so we can put that video on our Facebook. Well, lo and behold, we got a tip. His sister told on him, and we was able to to go get him. And there was some prints that matched him and. The prints came off of the Methodist Church, and so we was able to to effect an arrest. And he ended up because he had had some issues in the past. He ended up doing a plea, and he's no longer here. 